I'm not wearing any pants. Film at 11. Here's a black and white film of my brother, my Uncle Ed. Now the reason it's black and white is I had some high speed film. It was, um... That was the Kodak M6. That was the only camera you could zoom in and out real fast with. Anyways, that film that I was a... Uh, um, it was a very high speed film, a 500 speed or something like that. Of course it's black and white only. It's not really... Good, not really a good focus. That, that was no floodlights or nothing, that was the existing light in the room. And in order to get that, you need a high-speed film, which is very grainy. And a high-speed film um, was mostly, a real high-speed, was only available in black and white. Color required more light. I would say this was probably about, uh, oh, 1970, and my mom putting dishes away. This was in 1972, in November. Salem, Massachusetts. This is a silent film. Essex Institute. Now this was made on the GAF 800P. Look how young I was there! Wow! Of course, these are silent films. My mom, and she says, get that camera out of here. Yeah, it's too bad it didn't have a sound camera at the time. But this was taken before I had a sound camera, so that's why these are in silent. But at least we've got them to look back on. And It's nice to see the uh, good old days here. Well, used to have cookouts out there. At the time, I was still living at home. Well, that's all I can do right now because I'm not able to rip sections of the DVD with anything that I've got here. There are some other old things that I wanted to share with you, but I'm not able to do it right now, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to put this DVD in to show you this is let's see this is 52 minutes long this whole DVD okay and it was it should bring up VLC player when it's up I'll, I'll uh, continue with the recording okay this is VLC player and um, this is the video 52 minutes now what I wanted to do is to record sections of this video but I'm not able to do that on the video that you just saw the 8 millimeters that's 30 minutes and 35 seconds long the whole thing I had to rip the entire 30 minutes of that DVD there was no option to rip uh, one or two minutes or ten minutes or whatever there is no option for that I'm not able to get it to work that way and it's the same way with this one all right I'm going down here and disc okay it don't matter where I set the chapters it don't make a darn bit of difference at all I don't know it's, it, the numbers are going up where it says chapters but I don't think that means anything it's going up to 40 50 chapters uh, I don't think that has anything to do with it. So I have no idea how many chapters are in here, but my DVDs are recorded all in one length. So, um, what I have to do is to click on this, and then click on Browse, 
I have to keep making a folder. And like I say, I put everything in captured videos. And now I want to name it. So I will name it um, F I L M T E S T. Film test. Now I found out that you have to put in the dot mp4 or whatever you want it to be it apparently don't do that on its own mp4 okay now okay let's say i uh okay here's the slider over here you can't do that all right so let's just click start and now let's say i wanted to start over here I don't think that'll work that way, because you see, this one's 51 minutes and 25 seconds long. If I only wanted to record the end of this, I just move this slide away over here, it's still that way. So, this is why I can't do these, because I gotta rip the entire DVD. Handbrake's the same way, and I can't figure that thing out, but I do know that Handbrake will not rip chapters. It will not, repeat, will not. I've tried it, and I've been playing around with it for about two years, believe it or not. And this I just found out within the last week that this is supposed to record. But it will record the entire DVD. Anyways, folks, I just wanted to give you a little something of some of the older stuff. I don't have a lot of uh, old things. But the only other way I can get the sections of the DVD that I want recorded is to take the camera, mount it on a tripod, center it on the screen, play the DVD to where I want it, and start recording with the camera off the screen. Quality is not as good, but it's the only way I can do it. So anyways, that's it. I have lots of DVDs. Not everything's family, but I just thought I'd sh uh, share a little bit of that with you. If I had the proper software that would do this, I could probably do a lot better job. And I'm still learning PowerDirector, and I've got a long way to go on that. You gotta be kidding me!